seen a lot of documentaries about hyper jumps. Clearly something went wrong. Now walls decided to break down on me. After I thought things couldn't get any worse. What am I supposed to do now? Picking a ship is way more difficult than just pushing some buttons. A planet nearby. Well, I mean, I'm looking at one on the screen. Oh, see, now that's a much nicer map. Oh wow, something's broken, but something else is functioning now. Automatic doors. I love this ship. I would check it out. Maybe the crew is there. <sighs> Semi doubt that. That's a creaky ass elevator. Hey, can anybody hear me? I do. I'm so happy I'm not alone. I'm really sorry I got in here without permission. It was an accident. Thank God, someone's alive. You're the guy from the cryopod, aren't you? I'm so glad you woke up. Apparently, you've rebooted the ship's systems and restored communications. What's going on here? Where is everyone? I don't know. Treason. Treason? We had an important mission to aid the besieged planet of Veronia. That wasn't my colleague's plan, though. I was hit in the head and locked up in the living quarters. I don't even know what happened to her here afterwards. Sorry for mixing you up in this so quickly. We don't have a lot of time. We're my only chance to survive and finish my mission. We have to hurry. Wait, we? I do it myself, but my door is barred and damaged from what I could see. I'm not sure, but it looks like we need to replace the whole control unit. We don't have a spare. It's okay. There's plenty of food. I'll need you to drive the ship to Veronia. I'm not going to damn Veronia. I need to go back home. It's... whatever. I want to get out. Going to war and saving someone is the last thing I need. You... You sneaked onto someone else's ship and now you're going to hijack it? You're going to take away just the whole planet's last chance just to save your own ass? Yeah, you're right. That's what I'm gonna do. Are you serious? Well, yeah. Do I look like I'm a heroic or suicidal to you? Definitely not a hero. Well then, do what you want. I can't stop you. Prepare the ship and go home. Good luck. Wait. God, well, I can handle this myself. As usual. I hope the reboot restored not only conical elevators, well. Okay, so. Oh god, another puzzle! I thought of space adventures, I imagined flights and alien wars. Explosions! Star Wars! In the galaxy! No, um, I wonder if all spaceships are this weird. Nope, definitely not all of them. Just this one! That was modeled by the same agency who did all the buildings in Resident Evil. Yes, most of those buildings were all done by the same architects, according to Resident Evil 7 and the Resident Evil 2 reboot. They're all done by the same people, that's why it's all puzzling. They're eccentric architects. Whoa, it's not an ordinary ship. Oh, they're still here. Why was it built like this? Hello? Forget it. I'll do it on my own. Hey! I don't need no stinking people, oh god. Okay. Oh, fuck. 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 Okay, so if I go up with this, then I can go down. I can't jump too. Oh, fuck. Okay, so if I go up, down, what do I need to do next? Can you go up? No. So you have to go up. You can't go up. You go up. No. You can't go down. So I'm gonna try something real quick. If 
fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Wait, no. This can't go up because that has to go down, and then that could go up. Wait, if this goes down, then two of these will be down. But then I'll send this. No, because that be stuck here. So then down. Do I send down again, or do I send up? No, I have to send you down. You have to go down. Have it like this. No, I can't do that either. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Okay. That like that. That like that. That like that. That like that. That like. Oh fuck! Wait, no, no. I did it. Oh fuck me! Take it easy. Twenty more of those. For you. You can help me. No, I've already solved my business. <laughs> How about moral support? You could embrace that dynamic if you want. Okay! I did it! I did it! Oh. Thank you! <laughs> and... Get me out of here! Holy shit, more terminals. I have no idea what to do with them! I do. Wanna know? Will you help me in return? No. Well, no it is then. Oh, wait, damn it. How about this? It doesn't matter whether you go home or save people. You'll need the ship either way. Let's repair it, and then you can make your decision. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to change your mind. Well, it seems I have no choice. Deal. <laughs> There's only one thing left. What's your name? Ramto. My name is Ramto. Nice to meet you, Ramto. I'm in. Of course you're the doctor, detective. Of course you are! So, after last time, we... found ourselves awake on a cryopod ship. Or a cryopod on a ship. After two years of being asleep? Or at least, almost two years. Yes, Ramto. And we have been in the good graces to find ourselves in the aid of this doctor known as Anne who's been on the ship. Trying to solve basically what seems like Resident Evil puzzles to get around here and trying to get ourselves home, our Han Solo-esque self is still trying to decide between whether we should literally go to a war-torn planet or, you know, go home. And I know that seems easier than not, but this vessel is the last hope for that war-torn planet. I really think this is a good time to talk. We got this situation. We got into this situation together. Not really! You were asleep for two years! I wanna know, uh, who my life depends on. Maybe you're right. What do you wanna know? Are you married? Don't even think about it. I'm just asking. <laughs> well, that ship sailed! Oh! Yep, that's also not helpful at all. So, what should I do? I wanna tell the hyperdrive is broken. So, you should check it, but first you need to find it. How am I supposed to do that? The door isn't working. I think the fuse is blown. We're gonna find another. Nowhere. We're gonna be on the ship. And just what am I supposed to do then? Use a 3D printer. All the blueprints should be somewhere on this disc. Find them and then solve another puzzle. Play a game, I can do that. No, just find the flash drive with the blueprint. Press the button, that's it. Sounds too good to be true. First you need to find the flash drive. Where? No idea. You want puzzles? You got them. Challenge accepted. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> what am I doing? So, this is the printer, I'm assuming. Ship's designer was a big retro fan, from what I can tell. I contemplate this for, my, for hours. This isn't the best time for games, you know. Yes, but last time it helped me solve the problem. It'll work this time, too. Definitely not the best idea. Ramto? Don't be such a nitpicker. I'll just check. You know, for science. Science for the science gods! 
can go over it. Uh, yeah, Captain. Hey, would you look at that? Snoop! Oh! Hi there, whoever you are. Keep writing on the, about everything that's going on here. Not many interesting things going on. Oh, ooh, wait, hold up. Can I... Oh, I can control that. Oh, that's gonna be nice! There's not many interesting things going on, although a lot of minor accidents, but the stance is always more of the same in space. I like to think he's telling the truth. The captain said there are unexpected guests in the cryopod is to blame. That, that guy brings bad luck. I don't know. That's me. It's just a weirdo. Great! I'm the second weirdo on this ship. Although sometimes I think the ship was designed by weirdos too. That's true. There's so much modern technology out there. This ship is run is full of ancient hardware. Sometimes I like it though. When I try to understand this Calc 3000. I don't think uh, about sad things. There's so many weird unlabeled buttons and hidden panels. It's as if I'm a mysterious movie, which every machine has a secret function. Maybe that's the way it is. If I feel like the ship isn't what it seems. I constantly run into secret devices and in compartments. Then it tells me it's much more. But why? Why would who would need this? I need to fully commit myself to the mission. Uh, but the detective inside me can't calm down. Maybe it's just nonsense. Fantasies. Maybe all these ideas were born from some mad, paranoid delusions. And all these people acting strangely. Crowpot still away. Accidents. Secret technologies. AI that has its finger in every pie. Maybe these coincidences are not coincidences at all. I think I should dig deeper and get to the bottom of this. How much time until we arrive, anyway? And century you four. The more I learn about Wall, the more I feel like something must be going on under the surface. The ship must break down so often for a reason. It's hiding something. And the AI is running, trying to stop me from learning the truth. It gives me false directions, fake captain orders, and mocks me in spare time. It reminds me of a living person, not a machine. A nasty, sarcastic, and mean person. Another problem is Rick. Goddamn lunatics suspect that I'm a spy. Thinks I'm going to disrupt the mission. That I was sent to the ship by the Confederates. At first, Stan and I thought it was funny, but Rick's really being a lunatic. Spies on me, even in the shower. Oh, come on! I can't go anywhere on notice, so my investigation is on the verge of failure. Maybe Rick is a spy? Looking at how he handles the ship's systems and the friends they eye is possible. And entry 5. Seems like Wall was designed to prevent us from getting to Veronia. All these puzzles, malfunctions, locked doors. Just like an obstacle course. So I think the Empire gave us the ship to sabotage our mission. Yes, of course, we'll get you transport for evacuation. We'll send you food and medics, but if you don't make it to Veronia, that's your problem. Or maybe I don't know anything. I suspect that they have a watcher on the ship. They are to make sure we don't make it. Something tells me Rick is a traitor. I'm trying too hard to stop you. Cause a lot of problems. We need to find some evidence. I have it. Go straight to stand. Looks like the captain knows everything. Melanie doesn't care. Stan's the only one I can trust. Well, that's fun. So, space invader time? Oh, shoot. Can I? Oh, I get to shoot back. I forgot how space invaders works. Oh, shoot. Uh, this isn't, this isn't how space invaders works. It's supposed to go across slowly. Well, not slowly, but you're supposed to, like, not go across like this. Like, you don't, you don't go across like that. Like, you're, you're supposed to have a set pattern. And you go down, like, after one reaches the end, and if you don't reach the end, then you're not supposed to do that. Hey! You win! Yes, I can see my hologram. You can just open. What's that? That's a fingerprint scanner. And here I was hoping for a blaster. Or a portable teleport. Or, for heaven's sake, will you ever act your age? No, I'm never going to get old. I'm like you. Why don't you install this into your ship? More importantly, what can I do with it? I don't know. Use your imagination. Okay. Uh, possibly find fingerprints on the book? Makes sense. Wait. That doesn't tell me which order. Two, 
five zero. Now, to go. I'm a real pathfinder. You're not too modest, aren't you? Ah, the blueprints. And the USB! I should keep this, to be honest. Hmm. Let's see what she has to say. And can you tell me more about your mission? You're flying to Aronia, the Vermin Confederacy recently besieged the planet. Those monsters always say they fight evil. While killing and robbing thousands of people. We're supposed to deliver foods and med there to help them as best we can. The government supported our plan and gave us a ship, but something went wrong. Yes, although I don't know what exactly. I think the Confederates sent a spy and almost identified who it was, but I was too late. And now I'm here locked up with a cracked skull. You look fine to me. Now all I can do is sit here and hope that you'll help me. Fortunately, I have plenty of food. Oh, I'm so hungry. Well, Mr. Hungry Pants, let's get this over with. Slide, you win. Information, tools, captain. Uh, okay. Welcome to the ASO. Information. Captain's log. Uh, oh, I can see four and five. Yeah, four. No, I should have thrown that idiot into space. Crazy things are happening. The AI has gone completely mad. That bastard machine is getting the way of my work. I can't run the ship. It says I'm too old and can't function properly. And I'm just to do everything I've all just to do everything. Uh, it'll just do everything. I also got problems with the crew. Melanie ignores everyone. Just works all day long. She doesn't care about Veronia. And triggers conflicts with other crew members. So she's clearly the spy. Got it. Rick and Anne think they're some kind of rival detectives. They both think the other is a spy and blame each other for all problems. So paranoid. It's funny. How can either of them sabotage something? They spend all their time watching each other. I shouldn't have gone on this mission. If the vermin are involved, it's something dangerous. I made a mistake taking this kind of risk. The watcher slipped us. Slipped up. Everything went to shit. Now I can't stop thinking about my life. Have I just made mistake after mistake? I knew everything about their little secrets and kept silent. Yes family's at stake. But was it worth it? Anyway, it's too late. Where is it? It's funny that I only started thinking about all this once death waved me up through my window. Go back. I suppose tools. Do I put this in somewhere? Hold on. Let's go to A. One here. Uh, the hell does this mean? Check what any of this does. Because I'm looking at this, and it seems like it's... H, I'd assume this is a 3. A masterpiece. Aren't I a master? Aren't I a 3D maestro? I'm not going to answer that. I figured that was H3, but still, that's kind of odd. I'll leave the blueprint. This for something. Uh, let's talk to her again since I can. What you do on the ship? I'm a doctor. Take care of the crew's health. It's also supposed to help on Veronia, but we didn't get there. You're a selfless person. What are you going to sacrifice your life for strangers? They're not strangers. What do you mean? Veronia is my home planet. I was born and raised there. My sister's still there. She could be in trouble right now. I can't help her. I'm sorry. Let's get the new Vicky! Oh! Rick Science Journal Part 2! Entry 4. We'll back it up. The onboard AI is scaring me, and it knows how to push my buttons. It speaks in different voices. It began to speak just like my mom. I almost had a heart attack. That's what passed me. Riddling tests without any trouble. But I don't think that test is still used. I'm not afraid to even think about it this, but this AI could really be against us. It really is. I should disable it. Otherwise, it'll disable me one day. I have to admit, though, it's found a place in my heart. This hunk of tin understands me better than anyone else. I talk about anything. Whilst on the ship, can I discuss the latest scientific discoveries with, or argue about who's stronger, Bashner or Duradello? What? Then we not stand. I'm trying to find out which faction irritates me more. 
Confederates or that openly devour planet after planet for the Empire that secretly helps them. Oh no, something went wrong in this world. Ah. Wait, what is this? Marvel Annihilation? All of a sudden with the Annihilation wave? Because this is what this is seeming like. A mix of Star Wars with the Annihilation wave from Marvel. What the actual hell? Okay. Um, entry six. Anne annoys me more and more. She's beating my record for this long. <laughs> that was way over the line. She probably did it on purpose just to spite me. I'm the AI is doing that. That was what way over the line. She probably did it on purpose just to spite me. Close to finding evidence that she's guilty. Can't wait to hang her out to dry. Literally, my operation. Entry seven. Locked Anne out. I was wrong. So wrong. Melanie's dead. It's my fault. There's some irony in the fact that it was Mel. The most indifferent and tedious woman who found the traitor while Anne and I were hunting each other. What? It was, well, that it was Mel, the most indifferent and tedious woman who found the traitor while Anne and I were hunting each other. It's a pity that Mel didn't have time to do something. I don't know why she died, but it doesn't matter now. I buried her. Not the way it should be. Stand somewhere nearby. He's probably armed, and I doubt he's alone. You can make things right. You can't let the ship get to her again. Alright, I'll save a little hyperdrive and the AI control here. That'll slow him down. Let's make things right. The stakes are too high. Wait, hold on. The fuse needs to go into here, right? I'm s sorry. I'm sorry. I, I kind of had a brain fart there for a second. My bad. Wait, no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It has to go. Yeah, it does have to go into there. Rusted? Oh. oh. I did do something. What the fuck? That's weird. <sighs> you. What about you? Me? What about me? Why should I trust you with my life? You shouldn't. I'm nobody. A scoundrel, loser, and fool. Be so harsh on yourself. Didn't you see what I am? A train wreck, a crook. Debts are the only thing I've ever made. And that's why I'm here, by the way. I was hiding from predators. Thanks to this, I still have a chance to escape. You're capable of more than you think. I'd like to believe that, but... I'll leave the journal here. I'm gonna see if I can actually take anything with me. It appears not. Oh, dead people are not fun. Shit, there's a dead man. There's a pig in his hands. Looks like he's trying to damage the hyperdrive. Scientists and picks are always such pains. Looks like some kind of space war. Probably Rick. Yeah, it is probably Rick. He tried to undermine the mission and he almost succeeded. Why does the corpse look like a skeleton? I don't know. How'd they die? Or stand? So, clearly... Hold on. No. Go back to here. Look. Can you grab that pick? We do not want to continue this mission. God, another dead body. A woman in blue overalls. That's Melanie, probably. By the way, why would he kill her? Why is she wearing one of my overalls? Are you asking me? I don't even know who they are. They're crew members. This doesn't seem good. Okay, I'm here. Three blocks. They're broken. That's bad. Why? You know, 3D printer won't help us? There's something in a hole? No, Ramto. Now I'm close to getting the hyperdrive working. Things are worse than I thought. Need spare parts that cannot be printed. Better pray you find them in the nearest planet. Or I doubt we'll ever get home. Ramto, we have a problem.
Let's see if I can do this. Up. And then... This is a good... Something has to move where that everything can move. So if I move this here, it will not work. But I can't move that there, because then it won't work either. So everything would have to be up one in order for this to work. 